When we introduced the 240 wagon, that was the first time we had a dog cage in a car. And we believe that dogs and luggage should be restrained properly in the event of an accident. And today we've got Christine Selter here, who's with Bark Buckle Up. She's going to present a different point of view and a, and a twist on that whole idea. Christine? Good morning. Welcome. Wow, what a turnout. Um, I want to thank Dan and Volvo for inviting us here to spread the word of pet safety in and around vehicles. Bark Buckle Up is an education program. We're traveling the U.S. promoting different safety products, including the XC90, which has the factory installed dog kennel. You'll see Marshall over here, canine unit, bomb sniffing dog. They secure the dog in the back end. There's other products that are out there. Um, Bark Buckle Up gets the products in. We check them out. We uh, do some research. There is a um, pet buckle, which is good for the smaller dogs or a car seat, a doggy car seat uh, crate. Anything for the little dogs. We've got Sanford and Bailey over here from the American Red Cross. Um, we have Sheriff Perez, the sheriff. <laughs> they are here. Um, one of the biggest problems with pets being loose in a vehicle is when the EMTs get to the scene. They cannot get in the car without getting bit or the dog jumping out, running out, and causing a second accident. The driver of the vehicle and the pet parent would be then responsible for the second accident. So your insurance isn't going to be happy, you're going to be paying some bills. Among the dog getting hurt. The next top reason for securing a dog in a car, of course, is its own safety. If they're running around, you have an accident, the dog will get hurt. They'll fall off the seat, they can be launched from the vehicle. They can also hit the driver or your passengers, and a 60-pound dog hitting a, a small child is going to cause quite a bit of damage. Um, the other reasons, of course, are driver distraction. I don't know about Chicago, but um, in California, where I'm from, the ticket that you can receive is for driver distraction. You see on TV all the time the movie stars running around with the dogs on their laps. Not a good idea. The airbag will kill that animal. So what we do is we're going out. You guys all have a press kit over there. It has one of the Kirko pet buckles in there. If you don't have a dog or cat of your own, please pass it along to a friend or family member that does and encourage them to buckle up. You want to you know, be smart, ride safe, keep the dogs secure.